Okay, so today I'm going to go through how to replace a spoke on your bike. So without further ado, um, let's just go through it kind of step by step. So um, as you can see, uh, I've broken a spoke um, and I'll probably replace this nipple as well because it's not in the best of conditions. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, do this the most comprehensive way possible. It is actually entirely possible to do this repair without taking the tire off, for example. Um, but in this instance, I'm just going to be properly thorough. Um, okay. Obviously, um, you need to remove the wheel from the bike, right? That's almost sort of um, step one, right? Um, and once you've got the wheel off, what you need to do is you need to take off like anything that's attached to the wheel, such as a brake disc or cassette. Now, now a lot of these jobs require um, specialist tools, um, but they're not difficult. Um, also, if you have a um, brake block separator, uh, one of these plastic clips, highly advise um, that you use that. Um, so yeah. A lot of kind of um, specialist tools required, but not particularly difficult jobs, right? Um, so we're going to remove everything off the wheel. So I'm going to remove the brake disc. I'm going to remove the cassette and then off camera, I'm just going to remove the um, tire and tidy the wheel up um, a little bit. Um, so once I've done that, um, we will jump to the measuring of the spoke. So you have two sides of the hub right um the side of the hub where most of the torque goes through which is going to be um where the cassette is on the rear wheel or where the brake disc is on the front wheel the spokes there will be slightly shorter and the reason for that is purely because um the flange of the hub which is where the spokes go into um is closer to the center of the hub on the side where the cassette or the brake disc is. So those are going to be slightly shorter. So you're going to have different length spokes on either side of the wheel. So um, we need to take some measurements, right? And to do this, uh, to calculate the spoke length, um, we're going to use an online service, Pro Wheel Builder, which is, I found always to be reliable. We're going to take a number of measures using um, a caliper. And then um, that's going to tell us how long our spokes need to be. Um, one of the most difficult measurements is ERD, which is effective rim diameter. It's basically, it's not just the, the interior, well, okay, it's the interior diameter of the rim plus the amount of the spoke nipple that goes inside the rim. Um, mine actually has it written on the side of the rim. You might find with yours that um, you can just Google it. Um, particularly if it's like, you know, uh, a popular brand like DT Swiss, you'll be able to Google that and find the ERD, no problem. If not, there's some more comprehensive videos online on how to do that bit. Um, I won't go through that here. Um, okay, um, so, so the final um, hurdle you have to jump is knowing how many crosses your wheel has. Um, and if you look at your wheel, what you will see is mine's a three cross, right? So um, the spokes cross three times, right? So if we look here, we have over, over, under. That's our, our three crosses. Um, and obviously that affects spoke length. So that's the last thing you need to work out. Um, and then you go up. Once you know what length spoke you need to order, okay, you just need to head over to Mr. Google and type it in. What you'll find is, um, from Pro Wheel Builder, you'll get a very specific length of spoke. And I use DT Swiss spokes, and they tend to come in like 292 and 294 for me, even though that's not the exact measurements Pro Wheel Builder gives. Um, don't get too crazy with that. Um, just, you know, order the spokes. The cheaper versions, there's more expensive versions. The most expensive versions, I mean, compared to most things in mountain biking, are um, not that expensive, right? So buy, you know, five or six. Um, while you're in there would be uh, my advice and then you've got them if you need them later on also if you're going to buy spare nipples make sure that you buy um, breast
compress the nipples and if your spoke has broken near the nipple um, you're probably not going to get it out um, so you're going to need rim tape as well um, so if you're planning on taking a tire off um, and cutting rim tape you're going to need some rim tape um, and that's it um, that, that's everything you need um, for the job um, okay so um, just have to wait for Mr. Postman to arrive Okay, so if this is the, your first time doing this, it's really important to remember that you've already done the hard bit, okay? You've already done all of the hard work. We now just need to feed the spoke into the hub. The spokes on a wheel alternate, right? So one goes from the front of the hub to the back and the next one goes from the back of the hub to the front. Find the hole where your spoke is missing and either side, right, the spokes are either going to come out towards you and up or in towards you, uh, oh, sorry, out towards you and up or in towards the hub and up. And all you do, right, is you do the opposite of whatever the spokes to either the side of the hole are doing. Now, if you remember, we talked about being this being a free cross wheel. So now you just need to look to um, either at one spoke to the left or one spoke to the right. So ignore the spokes immediately next to your spoke and look at the other ones and see what they're doing. And now we're looking at crosses. Remember, free cross. So you're either going to go under, under, over, or over, over, under, right? You just need to follow whatever pattern the other spokes on the wheel are doing. I promise you, it sounds complicated. It's really simple when you have a wheel in front of you, right? Your hole is here. Your spoke is down the bottom. Now just copy one spoke to the left or one spoke to the right. So ignore the immediate spoke to the left or the right and copy the one next to the immediate spoke to the left or the right um, and that's it yeah I'm done next up is we need to put the nipple on the spoke and there is a bespoke tool we'll use later but right now we're just going to use a flat head screwdriver okay so we're gonna get the nipple on there um, and tighten it with a flat head screwdriver. Okay, so this next bit is where you're going to need a spoke wrench. Um, spoke wrenches can look like this. This is a cheap one and they can get more expensive. Um, you just need to find your spoke now, right? And this is so much simpler than it sounds. Squeeze the two spokes to the left and the right, the spokes come in like collections of two on the wheel, right? They come in pairs. Squeeze the ones to the left and the ones to the right, and now just simply tighten your spoke to the same um, tension as the other two spokes, and just do it by feel. And if you do this, your wheel should still stay true. Like, I'm not sure if you've ever seen the tolerances that come from the manufacturers, but you really don't need your wheel to be like perfectly true. Um, you can get a true in stand or you can get like um, a zip tie and put it on your frame and true up the wheel if you want to. But honestly, um, as long as it's the ten same tension as the others, um, genuinely, yeah, you'll be golden. Okay, and that's it. You've done it. Well done you. You have just replaced the spoke on your bike. Good job. 